them all? Yes. Are they all frozen? Not half as much as me. Hey, don't stand in front of the fire. But I'm Here. freezing. I'll chop some more wood. Do you realize I'm on triple overtime? <laughs> Will you chop the wood? <laughs> That's what you get for depending on a couple of senile old characters in a Swiss chalet for your weather. Are well, they entitled to goof? Not with my tomatoes, they aren't. <laughs> Are they all right? You can plant them tomorrow, if it doesn't rain. I don't plant them until I get an accurate weather report. Now, come on to bed. Douglas! Mr. Douglas! Mr. Douglas! What's the matter? Mr. Douglas, I hate to say this. Well, I don't hate to say it. I have to say it. Say what? Okay, what? There, I said it. Now you know the worst. No, not the worst. The worst is that somebody sneaked into your field in the middle of the night and stole all your tomato plants. Mr. Kimball. Yeah, there's nothing out there but 600 holes and a bunch of disappointed weeds. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, you got your tomato plants back. Who had them? I did. Then why did you report them stolen? I didn't. I brought them in last night because of the frost. Well, you never should have planted them knowing there was going to be a cold snap. How am I supposed to know that? They're not on television is predicting rain. The numbskull on the radio is singing a song about the drought. Isn't there anybody around here can give you accurate weather information? Of course. If you want fast, accurate, up-to-the-minute weather information, you just pick up the phone and call me, and I'll give you the latest scientific forecast. You have a weather station? No, an almanac. <laughs> you go by Richard Poors, founded and written by Franklin Benjamin. <laughs> I found the almanac to be almost infallible. Well, not almost. And not infallible. It's usually right some of the time. Now, here's what I said for last night. Salads are made, salads are tossed. Don't plant tomatoes because of the frost. <laughs> the almanac predicted the frost last night? What does it say about today? Today's the day for hunting grouse, so get your tomatoes out of the house. Well, I guess you know what to do now. <laughs> yes, I do. But there's a law against it. <laughs> well, I... Guess I better be going. Yeah, you'd better. Oh, if I uh, see the sheriff, I'll uh, tell him to keep an eye out for your tomato plants. Oliver, Oliver, I just saw TV, and guess what's going on high atop of Beulah's car wash? The little old man came out wearing earmuffs and snowshoes, and the little old lady was in her house fixing hot cocoa, which means it's going to be a big snowstorm. I see. Now, yesterday they predicted rain, we had a frost. Today they're... Doug! Mr. Douglas, I just heard Walter, the weatherman, the drought's over. Good. But there's a hailstorm on its way. I see. Now we've got snow predicted and hail. So based on yesterday's prediction of rain and or drought, it's safe to say that today should be fair and warmer. Get the tomato plants back in the ground. Be right, Not one at a time.